wanted to revisit the video I made about reversing polarity with two relays. And so what I'll do first is we'll just wire this in case that's all you're interested in. You can see here we have close up of the relays I'm using. So we have 85 and 86. So normally I say you can put positive and negative on either side of these. But if you're getting into more advanced stuff, you want to use 85 as your negative. So what we're going to do here, and this is for the coil. So when we apply power to the relay, it's going to switch power through here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is hook up our motor. And we're putting it on this post here, which you can see is 30. That's the common. So there's no voltage going to the motors right now. And I've made up two separate jumpers. Um, if you had a small load, you could jumper the negatives all the way across. So we'll go with the 85s here. And then on this particular relay, this post and this post are connected right now. They're closed. So the next negatives are going to go on that center post. So we're going right here in the middle. Then on the top post here, this one up here, we're going to put our positives. So right now what's feeding the motor is two negatives, two grounds. Nothing's going to happen. You can see the motor's not turning. So even if I turn on the power, you'll see nothing's happening. Then we need a switch. I've got a double pull, double throw. It's just what I had handy. We're only going to use one side of this. This is your common. When you push it one direction, positive will go out the other side. I push it the other direction, positive is going to go out that side. So we're going to take this coming from our positive junction, put it in the middle. Okay, then on one side, we'll put it to this relay here. The other side, put it to this relay here. So I just put that on 86 of both of these relays. You can see the power it's on, nothing's happening. But when I depress the button, the motor starts moving. If I push the other direction, it moves the other direction. So now I'm gonna get in some different relays and how the relays work. So this brand, I wanted a smaller 30 amp relay. This brand's been very un reliable. I had to replace a bunch of these, they failed. But I'm going to show you how, because it's different from this one. So when you're looking at this, here's your coil and your common, and you would think that this is the common, which it's not. So let's demonstrate that here. I'm going to assume these are the coil. And they are. Then if I assume this is the common, you can see that's open there and that's closed there. But if I applied power, it's not going to close these two together. It's actually this way. So that one in there is open and that one in there is closed. So now let's apply power to this and demonstrate that. We have our switch power. We'll just take one leg of this, put it on one side of the coil, take a negative, put it on the other side of the coil. We'll connect our meter there and there, which is showing open. Okay, so now we have power on. 
energize the coil and we can see you can see that the ohms are very bad on this thing but you can see it changing state see that's why i had to replace a bunch of these but if i go on this other post here which i thought was the common you can see it's closed and then it opens So now we'll connect them both up and just demonstrate that it works the same as the other ones. So ground on the outside of the coil. The other side of the switch. To the other side of the coil. And then our motors go out here. So our motor leads go out here to the common. Our close side gets negative. So that's our close side. And then on this one, the middle gets positive. See, those are a little tight, a little harder to do, but same result. You can see the inside of this one. So when it gets energized, it moves to that side. They don't move very far. So what I do if I get a relay that I'm unfamiliar with, can't see the markings, is I just look for the coil. So we know this is the coil here, right? That's the part of the relay inside of here. So it's coiled up a bunch of wires. And um, that's what's gonna make that move inside when that energizes. So you can find it by taking a meter and measuring the resistance. So if you see a resistance measurement, pretty sure that's the coil. Then if you want to find your switching, that one's closed now. This one's open now. It'll be closed when these two get energized. So let's say you have a relay like that, these little ones. Once again, there's five posts. They're hard to see there. But this one here is probably your common, and those are your coils. Just kind of like this first one we had. Okay. So we can measure. And there, we're getting a measurement, so that's, we're pretty sure that's our coils. This is our common. And there's our closed one. Okay, so when it gets energized, this would be the closed one. Then we get this one here. It's got four posts. These are called a form C. This is a form A. So this one's kind of like an on-off. And this one we have a choice. We can have it off or on. So with this one, these two are offset. So I'm assuming those are where our switch is. So we can measure the other two. Can we get some resistance there? So that's our coil. And then you can see these are open. And then if we energize these, everything I'm using here is a 12 volt coil. So we need power. And there you can see it just changed state.
and then it goes back. Here's here some diagrams I just drew up and you can see here's our switch. So you can see from our power, you would have to put the appropriate fuse in there, go into our power. And then depending on which relay you want to energize, you hook these up to 86 and then whichever way you move the switch, it'll energize one or the other. So if you have this switch and it's labeled in or out or something, you can just reverse these wires if it's in is going out and vice versa. And so this is showing us the positive circuit and then our commons go out to the motor. Now this is our positive. You can fuse this here too, going to 87, which is our open circuit. So when the relay is just sitting there, not energized, this is open. This is not connected to here. Okay, so that's just showing how to wire that. Motor leads are the same. This is the negative circuit. So we have ground going to 85 on both of them. And then we need a ground to 87A. So these are both connected right now. So it's sending two negatives to the motor. Nothing's gonna happen. No shorts, nothing like that. On my other video I did, people were saying, everything's gonna short. No, it's not. I didn't make up this circuit. This circuit's been around a long time. In my industry, I see it all the time, so. So ignore these. I got these backwards. This is from something I drew up a long time ago, but 85 should be the negative side. But anyways, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is when this one's energized, these two get closed, 30 and 87. And now it's gonna put positive to this side of the motor. This side stays negative because these two are what's connected on this style of relay. Okay, so that'll make the motor move in one direction. So the opposite would happen of this if we move the switch the other direction then this one would get energized and this side would become the positive and this would be the negative. Well, I was watching my original video on this topic and I thought I could probably do it a little bit better, make it a little more clear and put all the topics in one video instead of spread out over other videos. So I hope you, you like it and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.